Okay, this is the 2018 Ford Explorer, the Braunability MXV conversion on it. So I'll do a little walk around, notate any items that I find, and then we'll be able to see how this vehicle works. Overall in great shape. Very, very minor scuffs I've seen. Maybe just a little bit right here. Some on the front bumper, so maybe some chips. This wheel is good here. I did notice some on the other one, so I'll show that around the other side. Beautiful, beautiful blue metallic color. There's some chips here with the nice gray accents and wheels. This is the XLT model, so it has a lot of premium features. It's a little nick right there. Runs and drives really well, and the conversion items work very well as well. There's, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little scratch here. And right here. This wheel's good. And then we have a little curb rash right here on the wheel. Other than that, very hard to find flaws on this car. Really good shape for a used vehicle. Okay, so the way this works is you're gonna click three times on the button there. That opens the sequence here for the door. Braun actually made this as a bus style door. So they did a lot of work to make that happen. And then you have an inflow ramp here. Very, very nice setup works really well. This is that actuating arm here and you have an override system to be able to get that open as well. And then you have that brawn button to be able to operate the conversion inside as well. Once you get inside here, you've got a decent amount of room and then these seats come out. So we've got pictures of that for you on the website. Overall, Car is in good condition here. No rips, tears, stains, scratches on the seats. Floor is this durable rubber flooring. And of course I got my dusty shoes all over it, but it's not ripped up or torn anywhere here. It's that easy to clean rubberized flooring there. You got two bucket seats back there, plus two seats up here. This is a advanced keyless entry key, so you don't actually have to carry that. Uh, excuse me, you don't have to press the button, you just open the door by pulling that handle and then locking it by pressing that black button there. Ron actually modified this door here to make this opening wider. So they did actually cut down on this door a little bit here too. That's why you'll see that weather seal. And I'll show you the back as well. It's got a power lift gate. Opens real smooth. You've got your Q strain restraints there. And then we've got a spare tire underneath here. Push the button here to close. And that's how that works. Then we can press on the button here again. And that's gonna open and close the doors using the unlock button on the original key fob ramp is going to come in and then that door is going to shut there very cool very rare setup in good shape thanks for watching